Every time I hear people say the black father is absent, a wanderer, what I see is an empty farmhouse, maize drying in the sun, a truth of many colors, stereotype growing like wildflower on either side of the road. I see a question mark in my mirror. I see children in a row, wilting. Many are not black, some are tall stalks on a small piece of land. Myth number one, you ain't no tree dropping pine cones on the forest floor. You ain't no dandelion releasing a generation to the wind each time someone grabs your head. You ain't what they say. You are whatever prophecy you choose to fulfill. You ain't no sperm donor. You ain't that gnawing voice telling you to run. An echo of the time black families were broken up on purpose. Another thing they hoped you would eventually do to yourselves. My mom once broke down in the middle of the cornfield next to our neighbor's house, plucking through husks for dinner. The next day, my dad, his ears burning, told me the heavy hiding behind his teeth that the bond of blood is stronger than the bond of marriage, meaning I would always be a son even if he were no longer a husband. Myth number two, you ain't no baby daddy. That title is used to describe your relationship with the mother, not with the child. You ain't a reason they should study biology to know what to call you. You are not a drunk text. You who have sown such beautiful seed, winnowed where you have not gathered, you are not without a storehouse, even fighting for visitation, even behind on child support. The real testament to your manhood is not how deep you planted, but whether you are still there for the harvest. I used to deny my three children out of fear. I would explain to anyone who assumed otherwise that this bubbling brood of babies were not mine. They were my brother-in-law's kids. We were just raising them. I felt like fatherhood was a position I wasn't qualified for, like my abilities were an exaggerated resume. I was terrified. It would only take one punishment before I would hear those words, you ain't my father. I pushed past that fear, loved them like my own because they are my own, never denied them again. And when I loved them like that and they loved me back, it was almost like hearing them say, we love you because you ain't my father. Myth number three, your future ain't set as a cycle of your past. You ain't worthless. You can do this. I am not a good black man. To call me good would be to infer that most are not. I have taken a responsibility that someone else didn't. I would be a sharecropper except for the word share, but God blessed the sharecroppers and the willing of heart and he of little means and the pariahs with mouths to feed and you. I hear them speak of the black father like he is not in the room, like he is apparition, like he is beyond redemption, like this is what I see when I hear people say all of us are missing. I see my father who raised me with the patient swelling of a farmer's hands. I see my children who needed a farmer's hands. I see you as a farmer with hands. When you work this land, son, really work this land, you will see a full farmhouse, smiles spreading in the sun. When you work this land, you will already know what is worth keeping Jay Ward one more point in this round and then three more poems to go